Hello children, let, let me explain some applications of refraction of light. Okay, so I'll start with this figure. We'll talk about the concept of real depth and apparent depth. To understand this real depth and apparent depth, let me explain this figure first. Okay, so this is a medium. It can be glass or water. Okay, and let's say this is water, then this is the surface of the water and this is the bottom of the water, which is placed in a bucket. And at the bottom of this surface, in the bottom of this water, we place, let's say there's a point object O. Okay, and this from this point object, there are two rays coming. The rays, which is coming out from it normally, and since this is the surface of the water and here it is air and normally and it is striking the surface which is separating the air and water then it will pass undeviated therefore it will be a straight line because the ray which is coming from this point object is incident on the surface normally second ray which is coming from this point object O which is placed at the bottom of this sur bottom of this water or glass is coming like this so it is incident on this surface obliquely okay and this is the normal the dot line shows the normal obviously it is striking the surface here the medium is denser and here the medium is rarer rarer so when the uh, ray strikes the surface from denser to the rarer medium it will bend away from the normal depend away from the normal like this and this is normal this is the direction of the incident ray and it will bend away from the normal and it will reach to the eye like this for this eye if you produce it backward by dotted line then for this eye the image of this object is found over here so this is the image that means for this eye it can see the object over here not here okay so obviously this is the surface and this is the bottom then this depth we call real depth so this is the actual depth of this uh, glass or water but for this eye the bottom looks over here bottom looks bottom is seen over here therefore this depth where the image is found of the point object this depth is called apparent depth apparent depth is not the actual depth but for this eye is appearing to be the bottom is appearing to be over here, therefore this depth is called the apparent depth. Okay. Now, let's understand the angle over here. So, this is the ray which is striking this surface and this is the normal. So, angle made by the incident ray with the refract, uh, with the normal we call it angle of incidence. And this is a refracted ray which is making an angle this with the normal and we call R. This is called angle of refraction. Okay, this angle of incidence, angle of incidence, this is angle of refraction. Now see, this AO and BN are parallel. Okay, and this OB is a transversal line. This AO and BN is parallel and this OB is transversal line. I think you have um, gone through this in mathematical mathematics. This is a mathematical concept and this angle, if this is, these two are parallel and this is a transversal line, then this angle, Okay, these two angles are alternate angles, they are equal. Therefore, if this is I, this has to be I. Similarly, this BN and this EI, IA prime, this BN and this IA prime are parallel to each other. This line and this line are parallel to each other. And this IB, this IC, you know, this IC is a transversal line. Okay, and this is parallel and this is a straight line then this angle should be equal to this angle. If this is R, then this has to be R. So that's the mathematical concept you have to understand. Okay, so you got the idea of what is the real depth and apparent depth. So this is written over here in this box. An object is placed in a denser medium when viewed from a rare medium appears to be at a depth lesser than its real depth. This is because of refraction of light. Obviously, this is happening because of refraction of light. Okay, if this light would not have been refracted or would not have changed its path would not have changed its path like this then this would have been a straight line and for this i would have come from o only 
since it bends like this, if I produce a backward, it is appearing to come from I. Therefore, apparent depth is this much, and the real depth is this much. Okay, this is because of perfection of light. Let me tell you, I will make you understand the mathematics now. Uh, see, now this AOB and OBA n prime equals to I. Sure. AOB and OB n prime equals to I. From the figure you can see it. Again, this B B I A prime and C B N. B I A prime and C B N both are R. Okay, from the figure both are R. Now in right angle triangle B A O. Now you can see the right angle triangle B A O. This right angle triangle. From here we can get sine I equals to sine I equals to B A by O B. And again another right angle triangle I A B. Right angle triangle I A B. From here we get um, so B. We have two right angle triangle. One is B A O. I think I have shown you B A O. This is a right angle triangle. Another right angle triangle is I A B, which is I A B. From here we get uh, sine R equals to B A I B. Okay, B A I B. Now we have sine I and sine R, which is this value. For refraction for meter from this mesh law, we know uh, sine I by sine I equals to refractive index. Here the refractive index, here we are see, we are finding the refractive index of air with this with this to medium. We are finding the refractive index of air with respect to the medium. That's what it means. Because the I is the angle of incidence from the denser medium and this is air. So refractive index of air with the medium is this value. And sin i and sin just put it over here and we get ib by ob. Okay, cancelling out all these things. Refractive index of medium with respect to air now. This is the refractive index of medium with respect to this is the respect uh, refractive index of air with respect to medium. Now we find the refractive index of medium with respect to air, which is reverse of this. As I told you, this is just the reverse, and this will just uh, be inverted. OB by IB. So that's what we got finally. OB by IB is the refractive index of medium with respect to air. Now see if now if we see it obliquely, then this A and B will be very close to each other. If you see sorry, if you see it normally, if you see it vertically, then what will happen? This B will be very close to A, and this AO would be same as OB. This AO would be same as OB, and this AI would be same as BI. If you see it obliquely, it will be very close to each other. Therefore, this AI and this BI would be same. And this OA and this OB would be same. Understood? Therefore, instead of for that, you can write OB equals to OA and IB equals to IA. So here you can see this OA is real depth. And this AI is apparent depth. So we change it. Real depth by apparent depth. And upper real depth by apparent depth. And apparent depth from here we can write as real depth by a mu. From here we can write real apparent depth equals to apparent depth goes this side and this becomes this. This is what it is. Now next is shift. Shift is OI. Shift means this value. You know what is the shift from the original to the apparent. But this is the original bottom. This is the apparent bottom. So this is shift OI. OI means real depth minus apparent depth. Real depth minus apparent depth. Now apparent depth is given by real depth by a mu. So replace it over here. Apparent depth is real depth by a mu. Now we take the common real depth, then it will become 1 minus 1 by a mu. M. 